One of the mistakes that people make in this entrepreneurial world as they are embarking upon their journey. Absolutely, and thank you for the opportunity to answer this question because it's what I write about in my book. There are certain things that can stop an entrepreneur from moving forward because if you are an entrepreneur, if you're bold enough to say that you want to go out and create your own product, you want to develop your products and services, then that means that you are not interested in doing the norm, but things like fear, things like well, I don't know if anybody can relate to folks who never have anything good to say about anything can steal your joy, make you feel like you're not adequate enough to deliver your brilliance to the world. Things like lack of organization and lack of focus, things like procrastination. Those are all the things that I touch upon and give you some life lessons and some actual strategies. It's not just about being empowered for a minute, but what do you do the next day, the next week, the next year when you need to maintain and sustain that momentum in developing your gift and your brilliance in the marketplace and getting paid for it. Remember the, the Detroit family, Detroit is going through so much and now's the time for you to define what Detroit will be moving for, not what the press and other people will say who don't live in your city, but understanding that there is always an opportunity to create and solve problems. That's what entrepreneurs do. They create products, services, programs, and businesses that can solve problems and bring value to the global marketplace. So I disrupt all of that thinking that can keep you tied up, locked down, and not moving forward in walking in your divine destiny. The title of the book is Action, Action, Despite the Distraction. Seven Life Lessons on How to Thrive and Live Your Destiny Now. Not tomorrow, not next week, not next year, but now. Just as you're doing, Milton, I am just so honored to be a part of what you built for these decades of work that you've been adding value to your voice and giving a platform to those who want to be a part of making this world better each day. And that's just the beginning of what she's going to be talking about tomorrow over at Renaissance Unity. Dr. Stacy Grant, I want you to tell people what time you want to... Yeah, things sure. start on time at Renaissance Unity. <laughs> <laughs> Let me be well, that, very clear. That is good to know, and I will be there. The show, um, I don't recall the show, the session will begin at 7 p.m. at Renaissance Unity, and they can go to renaissanceunity.com. I'm sure everybody's familiar with the work that they're doing. 7 p.m. live, we will be there. I'm looking forward to coming and pouring in to all of those who are interested. It's open and Free to everyone, and I'm coming from New York with everything. I'm eating the hot peppers on a fork, Miss Mildred, to make sure that I deliver to you the message and the tools that are necessary for you to take your life to the next level. Wait a minute. What did you say about hot peppers on a what? Hot peppers <laughs> on a fork, honey. I'm eating them up, and I'm ready. I'm <laughs> tied up to Detroit. <laughs> hot peppers on a fork. I'm going to steal that one from you. How about that? Well, of course, everybody's excited excited about meeting you and listening to your message tomorrow evening. Uh, thanks for joining us here on the Mildred Gaddis Show. We look forward to talking with you again in the future. Thank you so much. And if you want to stay connected, just visit me at actionactionbook.com. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.